Hey everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita at Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. And we have tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. This is episode 154, Valentine Decor Ideas for Your Home. Oh, I heart you. <laughs> oh, I heart both of you. <laughs> so, now that we've had that out of the way. Yes, and we heart all of you. Yeah. Heart, yes, heart, 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 we heart, heart, heart you. Heart, 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 heart. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't help it because it is Valentine. You know, we're talking about Valentine's Day. So. I know. Hearts and flowers, baby. You know, when I used to give a lot of parties, which has been a while, I always prefer to do one for Valentine's Day or for the spring than Christmas. I think because I always felt so much pressure for the Christmas decor to be over the top and for it to be such a big, big thing. But for Valentine's Day or for spring, I always felt like, you know, anything you do is going to be appreciated. So I always felt like it was a better more fun holiday for me too. Yeah, it's like a have bonus a party. party. If somebody mm-hmm. gets invited to a Valentine's party, that's a bonus. You know, yeah. like that's not your expected Christmas, uh, New Year situation. That's like, mm-hmm. wow, that's a little special little gem. And it's really fun to have like a girlfriend day, like a an afternoon luncheon or something fun on Valentine's Day. And well, as they call them, your Galentine's girlfriend. Day. Party. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I didn't know that. See, I'm ahead. Oh, of you my never time. heard that? Yeah, no. yeah. Like you know, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's necessarily a uh, you know a lonely hearts club kind of thing, mm-hmm. but it could just be like your girlfriend's getting together, you know, and okay, just celebrating having a nice a little afternoon for, together. I uh, I love that. This is for all the gourmands or the foodie people. Do not go out to dinner on Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, worst, night. one of the worst days of the year to go because a lot of these. Um, um, uh, menus are prefix. And so, you know, you go and they already, they have it all set up, but they're that Valentine's day is to make money and they make things that are relatively easy, pretty good tasting. And they want to get you out of there. You're so right. And mm-hmm. I, I really don't like those kinds of meals. I, I even, you know, you know how I feel about wine. I heart wine, but I don't like wine pairing dinners either. Mm-hmm. I don't like someone pre-picking my, yeah. my dinner. And then, yeah. And usually those price fix things, they've already set them up and like they, they just come and out like rapid fire. <laughs> and yeah. yeah and, I mean, some, some restaurants do it very well, but for the most part, It is a way to make money. And also, I said to my husband, never buy me flowers around Valentine's Day. Oh, I know. It is such a racket. No, just buy you my book. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Buy the books. Yes. (laughs) Yes. DIY. And you can make them all yourself. So pretty. Exactly. Exactly. No, I really, I liked Valentine's Day. I, I think it's just this special little treat. And especially for most people, it's a cold time of year. Mm-hmm. And so it's a little brightening. I have a little tiny little bin of Valentine's Day decor, just a little mm-hmm. one, like a shoe size, sweater size one. But I do have a few little special things do that I like you? to take out. Yeah. See, I do not, for the most part, decorate for Valentine's Day. Although I have in the past done a couple things and like little tiny things and I like you, but I don't bring out red or pink or I don't do any of that. Usually I make a beautiful meal yeah. And Bobby and I have sort of a romantic meal together. Oh, how nice. With a great wine. And then we watch TV till we fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, wait, that sounds like a perfect evening. I love it. I know because we're so busy. But when my kids were little, Valentine's Day, we'd make a big deal out of it. And it was almost like a second birthday. We'd have a big like celebration breakfast and we'd have presents and that was really fun. But, you know, when they got a little older, then I would send them off uh, 
um, care pack Valentine care packages in in college. And now oh, that they're married, they're on their own. Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you already picked out your Valentine. You're on your own. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess Valentine's Day is on a Wednesday this year. So Wednesdays are not generally the most romantic day of the week. But you know, hey, it's a, it's a midweek break. What I usually do for my kids, I usually you know, I used to get Peter cards for years, but he's not really a card guy. And then he would feel obligated to get me a card back. So I kind of stopped doing the cards. So we might do exactly what Yvonne said. Like have a nice dinner together or something like that. But our girls are still around. And if it's Wednesday, we're probably not going to do anything. We're certainly not going to go out on Valentine's Day. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I like to have a little something up at the breakfast table when my girls come down in the morning, even though that's a rush time. It's just a little, you know, nod to the holiday. It kind of perk up their day a little bit. And last, maybe it was like, no, it was, had to have been the year before. I made these really easy little project. And because some of you have been emailing us and asking us, hey, do you think you're ever going to do real DIY projects and talk about them on the podcast? We thought we'd dip our toe into that a little bit. We obviously do those on our blogs often. Um, But we can explain a couple of easy ones today in conjunction with the Valentine's decor. And we'll then put the links to the blog post that will then flesh those out and give you some photos in the show notes. But one thing that I did, I took just small jars. I, you know, I can't even really remember what was in the jar, maybe olives or uh, oh. maybe roasted red peppers, you know, that kind of size that kind jar. kind of a jar, sure. Yeah. Not, not like a giant you know, I'm jar. I'm thinking of- we, um, Yogurt, which I had for dinner last night. Oh God, no, yeah. she is so into those wee oh, yogurts. I love them. No, they these are, this so is good. bigger than those, but like gotcha. smaller than you know I a don't mayonnaise know, jar, <laughs> mayonnaise or red cabbage or anything mm-hmm, like that. So, mm-hmm. so, so, so that mid, small to mid size. So I spray painted them with the chalk paint, and then I wrote their what name. What color? Black chalk. Because it was oh. hard. yeah for a chalkboard okay. paint. I oh, okay, got it, yeah. got it. And then I wrote their name on it with a little XO. And then um, I took this, I could use any ribbon, but I had this sort of leather or pleather kind of little suede red ribbon. And I tied it around with a little um, heart and then just a, a little key that like I, there were definitely keys like, you know, you open your drawer and you're like, what did that go to? Like how mm-hmm. many houses ago, you know, not a car key, but like, you know, like a regular little key mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then other little ribbons. So kind of like the key to my heart thing. And then I put just, um, you know, kind of like the shredded, uh, you know, paper, not tish- tissue crinkly paper, paper, but the little shredded crinkly stuff paper. inside, mm-hmm. crinkly paper. And then just a bunch of little really nice little truffle candies, like the oh, Lindors or something. Oh, I love that idea. They were so cute. And I have the post on those in my blog. So I just chalk paint Valentine <sighs> jars, super easy. And, you know, then they could use the jar for something else. Like I think okay. one of my daughters used it for like her makeup brushes, another one put her pens in it. And, you know, maybe they had uh, six or five or six truffles inside of it. Just I am going to have to copy that. I'm going to do total copycat. Do it. Do it. You know what they say about copying. Oh, I'm flattered. That's right. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you are. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have one that I, a, a cute, a really pretty, and so super simple. And I have, and I'll put that in the show notes because I also have a post. And it, and it is a small picture frame, like a five by seven with a small heart in the center of it that I, um, I just traced a heart is, and, Filled it in with little white pearl buttons. Oh, I, I've oh, seen that one. I love it. And very so nice. dainty. It, yeah, and I wrote. Um, I think I have it um, across the top. It just says love, and Aww. with a pretty little heart. But they're all. Um, I just I keep sort of buttons like as they fall off things, or if you know, if like I have something that oh, was I love my buttons. mother's or grandmother's, mm-hmm. you know, me the too. Children's, I save those. Little, oh, I, I have off. a giant jar mm-hmm. of buttons and I, I do my too. Buttons. So I pick through all the white ones and I have some really old ones that are like, um, like the oyster buttons mm-hmm. and, um, a- a- abalone buttons. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, um, I had these little tiny pearly heart buttons that I made my daughter a sweater and put these little heart buttons on them and save the extra. So I've got these two little hearts that are like stuck sort of prominently on this. this um, yeah, it really, I was so surprised how well it came out because you know how sometimes in your mind, yeah, 
Oh, I know. Mm-hmm. I've had I have had mind projects mm-hmm. oftentimes in my life. So, did you put that on a little easel, or did you put it on the wall? Or you just prop it up. What do you do I with just, it? I prop. I I've propped it up on my the ledge of my mantle for years. How oh, cute! Every Valentine's Day, it just sort of sits up there. It's you know, yeah, just real what easy a great to project. do. Yeah. Well, I th- was thinking I didn't have one, but I came up with one. Oh, was that where you that were? I wanted. <laughs> I was sorry. I think think the lawnmower is still going. Oh, I thought, no, Yvonne, it was a sewing machine. Oh, no, no, no. no. They sound similar. They sound similar. Yes, they do. So I actually made a heart-shaped pillow. And I'm going to be making Mm. some more for Valentine's Day. So I think that's a fun one to do. And I love heart-shaped. Like a little boudoir pillow. Yes, it's probably about 12 to 15 inches tall, but even mm. the small little ones are so sweet. Mm-hmm. I have a little heart-shaped pillow that my grandmother used to put her as a pin cushion. Oh. And it took me months to find all the pins. When I first got it, when I was in high school, I would be feeling around mm-hmm. and it would be, ouch, ouch, oh, oh, there's that pin. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because it's kind of big for a pin cushion. I'm just kind of surprised mm-hmm. she used it because- it's probably six inches tall. So you can imagine there were quite a few pins yeah. in it. Yeah. Now, Here's can a- you get a heart insert or do you have to just stuff? Stuff away. Stuff yes. away. Okay. I mm. don't, well, I, you probably can't get them somewhere, but the you know, they're going to be so expensive. I right. just make my and own. And you know, I, I like a plump heart. So I think that would be <laughs> Yeah. I want a heart, a filled up heart. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, yes. The you want a heart one. that's full. I do. Uh, yes. My cup runneth over. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quinn's. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor. And I can really recommend their ultra stretch super wide leg pants at $49.90. The price is unbeatable and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Another thing that you can do with those little hearts, which I think is such a good idea. I don't know about you, but I love like those little lavender sachets that you can put in your drawers. Yeah. They make such an, a 
a difference of how your clothes smell. Oh, yeah. You know, they don't smell exactly like, oh, gosh, I smell lavender. They just smell fresh because I mm-hmm. don't use – um I don't use any fabric softeners or fabric sheets. Or- I don't either. Me I either. Don't. Oh, another commonality. No, but I do have a really nice. I have I have some linen spray that I use, a lavender mm, scented linen I spray. Have that. Yes, but I mm-hmm. love the sachets, and you could definitely cut with a pinking shears little hearts out, and then sew around them and just stuff them with fresh lavender. Oh yeah, that's a darling idea. Mm-hmm. Like I'm thinking, like some sort of like ticking Ooh. fabric would be yes. so cute, like pink or, oh, yeah. or twall. Or if you can't, if you don't have lavender, you could stuff it with fiber fill and then put like a little cotton ball with some um, essential oil on it. Oh, okay. So now we're talking about lavender. I wasn't going to talk about this one because it's not really a decor thing, but can I tell you quickly? You can say whatever you wish. Okay. Whatever I want. Okay. I made these um, lavender bath salts and they're little gifts. And Again, you know how I like to repurpose things. Salt or bomb, like a like shaky, like you shake it in. Yeah, you shake it in. Oh, um. So there were at one point my uh, my girls were drinking. I can't remember what it was, some sort of little apple juice or something, and they were coming in these really cute clear glass bottles. And I was like, I'm going to save those bottles. And I was like, all of a sudden, I had all these bottles. What am I going to do with them? So I did a um sort of made layers of Epsom salt and then mm-hmm. lavender. Epsom salt and then lavender. Oh, and how I ke- pretty. kept the top. And so they're just super clean and you have those in there. And then I made the really pretty, pretty tags. And I didn't put the normal top back on it. I saved wine corks and I sprayed the corks oh. gold and I plucked them of in. Of course she did. did. <laughs> and then I think they're really pretty, you guys. I was so good to put the blog post uh into the show notes, but they turned out really great. And then I made these um tags with sort of like those, you know, they're like toe tags, like, you know, those tags you can get at Staples, just the manila looking ones. Now you, everything mm-hmm. sounded really pretty till you got to toe tag. Toe tag. Oh, yeah, toe should, tags. Okay. Should, wait a minute. Shouldn't call them I'm toe picturing, tags. Wait a minute. A cadaver. A cadaver with a tag on the toe. Really? Yeah. 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 Well, no, don't think, don't think about that. Nothing about, says I'm sure there's a diff- day like a cadaver toe. <laughs> To death do us part. Um, they, um, yeah, I, there's probably a better name for those, but you know what I mean. Like, so, and I did a, a stamp uh, of a a crown on them and I attached them and it, they look really great. So try to erase the cadaver portion of the DIY. You don't need to That's go there fine. to get we, the tag. It's, it, so, it, does, it sounds like a beautiful little valentine's gift and that would be really a fun gift to give girlfriends too for I, to give girlfriends i did that mm-hmm. once we had a little lunch and one was at everybody's a table but and also nice teacher gift oh very nice teacher gift yeah i would have loved to have gotten that as a teacher see yes and you know a good yes. teacher gift from about one life. year i got a box of chocolates that had the like somebody stuck their finger through all the bottom oh. of them <laughs> No. Oh my. Apparently, Way. apparently, one of my little dear ones opened it before and was trying to figure out what everything was. Oh, oh is, no! Isn't that impressive? So funny! Oh my goodness! Had you eaten one before you realized that, or did you know before? Oh no! You could tell when you opened them that they weren't. <laughs> You know, they were they previously weren't all examined. <laughs> oh no! So funny. I've well, got a, go, I've got another really cute thing that I'm going to do. Actually, two things. Um, I'm part of a Valentine's Day sort of gift uh, DIY thing coming up soon. And I've seen them all over the internet, but I can't, I've never done one. And I just ordered, I just got all the yarn to make one of those arm, uh, arm knit throws. Oh, well, see, now we should record a podcast while we're we're, we're making one of those. I want to make one. No, Ah. because there may be a little bit of swearing involved. Oh, okay. No, not really. I don't swear. But anyway, but I've been watching all kinds of YouTube channels because I'm a pretty good knitter. I grew up in my formative years in Scotland and England. I I learned how to knit. However, um, some of these girls give great instructions and I'm going to go, I'm going to foray, foray into the world of, of the video, YouTube video, and I'm going to actually do one on my site. So I'm going to make one of these because it doesn't take long. It only takes like 45 minutes to make this beautiful, what? big, chunky. Yes. 
throw. Well, if we do it really fast, maybe we can get it in our normal podcast. Length. There you go. There's your podcast episode. We'll see. I, I, That'd be a little truly, dull, but you know. Truly, I think knit one, pearl one. Whoops, drop that stitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I just have a feeling that that is best left for video. Is that right? Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then the other thing I'm going to make that I'm really excited about is, you know, you can buy styrofoam in any shape in the world. Mm-hmm. And I found these little tiny styrofoam hearts. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to cover them with moss. Oh, great idea. Doesn't that wow. sound pretty? Yeah. It does. Mm-hmm. I'm not quite, I think I'm going to do them in a place setting and mm. put them as a little takeaway gift. I'm going to tie a little ribbon at the top, like attach a little pretty ribbon. Yeah. Um, so that's up and coming. So you might want to check out Stone Gable um, to see. I think that's coming hmm, sometime in... Uh, like January 26th, I want to say, 4th or Mm -hmm. 6th. Okay, well, we'll go back and add that to the show notes. Yeah. but This is going to come out on the 22nd. Just such easy, simple little ideas. Who wouldn't love a little little, um, moss-covered heart? Off some bits of trim from her exterior, and it the wood was just laying in a big pile. And so... I was like, gosh, that wood looks great. It was all chippy and white paint and it had like years of patina on it. And so I was like, she's going to, this woman's going to think I'm a nut. Like if she sees me taking this wood out of her trash, like what kind of crazy woman does that? But anyway, I got beyond that and I stuck oh, it in the back I want of my to car. Be one of your neighbors. Yeah. Oh, I want to be Well, this was my, one of my clients. I mean, <laughs> oh, really. Yeah, but can you imagine? Here she comes. Wood's. Filled with junk in the back of her trunk. <laughs> so I think, okay, what am I going to do with these pieces of wood? They're probably like uh, uh, checking for termites, you know. So, but what I did was I cut them in half. So I cut two of them in half. So I had these four pieces and then I just crossed them and I put some glue on them and I made the most darling kisses, wooden patinaed chippy kisses that I oh, stand I on my those. mantle. They're lo- I, they're fabulous. They're fabulous, right? But anyone yes. could do this. You could do this with how new, big are the kisses? New wood as well. They're substantial size. They're substantial. They're mm-hmm. about fourteen inches tall. You made these, Anita. Anita, I cut two pieces of wood in half, and then I crossed them with glue. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like I grew the tree and felled it and and well, you know. I'm just picturing this hand carved kiss that's yeah, three dimensional. No, no, it's not hand carved. It's it's hand found. It's hand salvaged, and then okay, it's, okay, and then it's glued together. But you, okay, they're so they're so so cute. You haven't seen them? They've been around on my blog for a long time. Um, no, I need them. to. No, I'm they're gonna they're look right now. Super cute, and everybody likes them. So, but you could do this with new pieces of wood, or if you have some salvage wood laying around, you know, I'm like, what am I gonna do with this wood? I want you to do something with it. It was pretty simple. And so I put those on my mantle usually, um, one on either side of the mantle. And then I also have these little wooden blocks that I had stamped hearts on. So I painted them sort of with a whitewash and then I just stamped a heart in red paint on them. And so they sort of sit with them. So cute. Easy. Oh, and I'm seeing, oh, you know what? I just looked on your website and... Well, but but it reminded me of something that you have the heart shaped the ivy on the heart. Oh yeah, then I had a ha- heart to- topiary with them. See, right. and I had a heart topiary one year out of the ivy, and I love it. That's another great thing to do for Valentine's Day, and you can make your own topiary or buy one. Yeah, those are really mm. cute. And then mm. you should just spritz your topiary, keep it keep it moist. Um, hey, mm-hmm. your topiary came to a very sad ending, though. Right, Anita? <laughs> Mine? Well, at some point. Well, this was like five years ago. Oh, okay. It was before it's she became a, a master gardener. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was before I was That's a just, master gardener. Yeah. That's you, right. because you forgot to spritz. Yeah. I don't know what it spritz. was. Yeah, it's all in the spritz. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think something else that it's not necessarily a home decor DIY, but I make these really good strawberry hand pies that are shaped in, oh, in hearts. Oh, I would like that. With yes. that glaze. And, and it's really, those it's look so wonderful. Easy. If you make, you know, I, and anymore, this is just because I have the time. It's not like I'm, I don't do not. 
<laughs> You're so busy. I don't know how you find the time. You find well, time. There must be like t- pockets of time and Yvonne just finds them because. Yeah, I don't know. You have know. more hours. You must have more hours in the day than the average person. How well, you get all you done, what you get done. <laughs> well, anyway, but I don't like, I don't love to like spend all day baking. That doesn't do it for me. So I'll make the dough the, one day and just throw it in the refrigerator, which is a good thing to do anyway. And then, and, and then the next day, all I have to do with the filling is so easy and then just roll it out and bake them. They are so pretty. And if you're having like, again, some friends for tea or for coffee, or, you know, you're, you're taking a treat in for your kids for Valentine's Day. Now I know they're, everybody's like so crazed hello on Valentine's Day. Please let your kids eat some fun stuff. Um, you know, <laughs> and it has fruit in it, you know. So, um, these little Valentine hearts, they're just, uh, you know, these hand pies, they're just so precious and really get you in the mood to make something fun and Valentine-y. Now, is it a regular pie dough that you use? No, I have a, a special pie dough for it. There's so there's yeah. a certain pie dough to make a hand pie. Yes, and you could use, I guess, because I'm thinking dough about because, how you could cheat. You know, no, the pie dough for a hand pie is not as flaky. I mean, oh, it, well, that it, makes it sense. is. It holds yeah. up a little better. Let's put it that way. Okay. And, you know, you could whiz it up in your uh, food processor and just throw it in the, ref- you know, put it in plastic, put it in plastic wrap and a disc and throw it in your fridge and you're good to go. Okay. So, that's Yeah. I, yeah. Those, I remember that blog post. Those are really, you took beautiful pictures of them too. Those are really, oh, thank you. But so we'll yummy. put that up there and they are they gorgeous are so, looking. So, so good though. They just taste delicious. Oh. And how big are they? Um, Like the palm of your hand. Like oh. you can pick it up in your hand. Okay. Okay. And eat it. I mean, you can make them as big as your cookie cutter is basically. Mm-hmm. Cause then you use a cookie cutter, a heart shaped cookie cutter to, um, to make them. And it's pretty easy. Well, and this is a fun time. I think if you have kids at home, this is a great time to do some fun dessert project with your kids and, you know, something in the shape of a heart. Maybe use some puff pastry and just, Kind of, or a pizza in the shape of a heart. I mean, there's so many fun things you can do. Like Yvonne said, look on Pinterest. There's going to be lots of ideas. Yes. And a lot of people really get into the decorating. I think one thing that um, I've never outgrown is I love those little candy hearts that say things like, you know, you're the best or. Yeah, but not to eat though. Well, I've eaten a couple, but they're fun. (laughs) They don't taste very good, but they're, they're cute. They're fun to have. And literally, like I put, I have um, large canisters with glass lids on my countertop for my flour and my sugar. And, and actually, I keep my my uh, protein drink mix powder in it for my breakfast in, in it as well. But, you know, just take about four or five of those boxes and pour it into your canister. And it looks so cute. Oh, great a idea. cute little decorating idea. And around Valentine's Day, this is the time that you can get the Hershey Kisses yes. in silver, pink, and red. Yes. So uh, this is when I get my pink, pink candy. I'm thinking oh. there's, I've also gotten some pink a uh, little divinity candy around this mm. time of year. And it looks so pretty displayed. There's something else I buy that's pink. That's really pretty, but I'm going to, Oh, well, it's a great time. Also, you just put out the good and plenty, you know, it's got the pink and the oh, white. Yeah. They don't mm-hmm. last in my house. I do have, I happen to, but love they look good so plenty. pretty in a little footed bowl with a lid. Mm-hmm. What a yeah, good that idea. Is, that is a cute little thing. Here's, here's another idea. If you have, um, a mantle or a horizontal, higher horizontal area, make a little, um, a little Valentine garland. You know, I've seen them where they have those felted wool balls. Yeah. And I've love seen a felted the, wool ball. Oh, I love yeah. those. A few strings of those or just make some yourself. And they're so pretty and sort of festive and you don't have to, you don't have to go crazy with them, but make something cute for the winter. That would be a lot of fun. I could just even think off the top of my head, like little white and pink or white and red mittens sort of clipped on to a a string. Yeah. 
Yeah, little yeah, little banners, all sorts of things like that are so sweet and just easy to do. And then you you know you put it in like a Ziploc bag, and then you just have it in your little box, and you're ready to roll for the next Valentine's Day. Yes. <laughs> well, and another idea is one year I made for the Christmas tree little Valentine shaped. They're little pillows, basically, that are maybe four inches, five inches tall. Oh, uh, wow. That I stuffed. Yeah. And they're diff- with, I used sc- my scraps of fabric that were left mm-hmm. over from a lot of sewing projects and put a satin ribbon at the top to use to hook on my Christmas tree. But if you have, but I ha- also have a small pink Christmas tree. So I think it's great oh, to get so out a little cute. tree for Valentine's Day and just oh. put your little hearts on there for oh, Valentine's you Day. You could even you do a bare branch. Wouldn't that be yes, fitting? Yes. And let me just tell you, here's another idea. If you're if you're like I am and you're going to make your own dinner, um, there is such an easy napkin fold. It looks like a rose. So all you do is you take I had hot pink napkins and you um you fold them diagonal corner up so it makes a big triangle. And then you roll it from the bottom edge up to the top. So it's like a tube and you roll it around your finger and it makes a rose. I've seen it on your website. It is so darling. And you You definitely need to check this out. And you don't even have to iron your napkin. That's what's so good about it. Oh, I like that. I like that already. I mean, they look really pretty and you could use, you know, white or pink or red or gingham or whatever you want to do. And it just is, and then I actually had um, some real rose leaves and I just stuck those in. You don't have to, but, and I put it in a little white cup, little white. Oh, how saucer. darling. Mm-hmm, cup oh, and that's saucer. so special. That really de- definitely elevates the everyday mm-hmm. and, and to so Valentine level fun. quality. I like yeah, that. Yeah, so and fun. if you want to go a little more natural, like we were talking about it, perhaps an ivy topiary shaped like a heart or something, this is a great time to get some branches to force. So maybe you want to look for yes. some uh, cherry blossom or you want to look for some quince or even Ugh. a pink dogwood or something like that. So it might not be that easy for everyone to find uh, at their local markets, but certainly if you have a um, floral mart near you or if you have some trees in your backyard, it's now Jan. You're going to be listening to this on January 22nd mm-hmm. or thereafter. You so you've got time to do it. And if, if you're living where it's really cold right now, wait until the afternoon, particularly if you've had a sunny day to go out and clip these bigger branches Mm. because you don't want the branches to be so frozen from the night before or still frozen in the early morning that they snap. So you want to give them a little time to sort of limber up a little bit and become a little more more pliable before you clip them. I love that idea. And I actually have a post on how to force branches. And I'll tell you where you can get the most gorgeous quince. Um, Anthropology has a sister store called Terrarium. Terrain. I mean, I'm sorry. I always say terrarium, terrain. And it is, it's a magnificent store. Now, last year when I had my, I just had my foot surgery done. I, I asked Bobby if he would take me like in a wheelchair Like I couldn't walk. So he had to lift me out of the car. (laughs) And I mean, it was, it was quite a hike. This is how gorgeous I think this store is. Cause I did not want to miss it when all the beautiful branches to force were in. Yes. It is a beautiful shop. I mean, it is gorgeous. And he's like wheeling me all over this, you know, pea, pea gravel. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Bless his heart. But you know, it is, if you have a a terrain near you, this is totally a a free plug for them. Make sure you go because those were the most, I I find the most beautiful branches to force at terrain. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. 
And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.com co slash dtt and use the code dtt that's dose daily dot co dot co slash dtt and use the code dtt and terrain is also on be home our app so yes you can find oh that's it there. right i forgot about see that everything that they have How could there. i forget yeah, yeah it's a beautiful shop and there's only a couple of of actual brick and mortar stores or, oh is you know, that right? gravel stores yeah they only have like two or three. Oh, yeah. that i'm very i mean it took me an hour to get there but i, still I was gonna say that that's pretty far did you go to connecticut no, I went down towards the main line in Philadelphia. Oh, in Philly. Oh, okay. wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I wish they mm-hmm. were to have one in LA. Yeah, so Forcing Branches, you could also, you know, Terrain's a great resource. You could buy them online too. So look around, but that's really dramatic and a, and beautiful. And Gorgeous. if you have them, and even before they get going, you could make little, I had a pretty paper stock, little hearts, and you could sort of tie them on. You could do all kinds of fun things to make mm-hmm. it more valentine and then just take those off because you're branches are going to last a long time after Valentine's Day comes and goes. So beautiful. Yes. And and just the branches themselves, you know, just pick very artistic looking, drapey, fun branches. Yeah. I'm very particular mm-hmm. about my branch shapes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you're lucky enough to have them in your backyard, go for it. Love and let me that. just throw this in. I've yeah. never done this, but Pinterest has tons of free printables and Valentine oriented pre-printables, pre free printables. So if you have um like a little frame just kicking around, go and print yourself off some pretty little Valentine printables. Yeah, that is so true. And I, mm-hmm. I'm not really a printable gal, but I totally respect I do the like printable, them. you know, mm-hmm. and that they're available out there. But, you know, maybe I wouldn't want to have a whole bunch of printables on the walls of my own house. But that is such a sweet thing to do if you're having people over or again, like a, just a little gift to send into school with your kids yes. or some, you print it out and you could even just, you know, you don't even have to frame it. Just leave it with your kid's little thing in the morning for Valentine's Day. It is a really great source. And mm-hmm. so if you're printing them out, Yvonne, what would you get? Like a really nice cardstock or something? You're not just going to use printer uh, paper, well, right? You could, but I have cardstock. And I think it always looks nicer on cardstock. I have uh, a natural color um, for like some of the like black and white things. Yeah. And then just white for others. And what another thing is I am such a lover of of, of cards, like cute postcards or cards that when I find a really cute card and even it made in it, like, um, I love the cards at Target. I think they have really cool cards. Um, and I just, I just grab one and I'll put it in a, like a white frame. So, you know, if I'm, I'm there and I think, oh, that's so cute. That would work for Valentine's day, but it's not like super over the top. Mm-hmm. I just get them and I can throw it in a white frame and have it for a couple of weeks. 
Great idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And at all the vintage um, sales, they'll usually have somebody who's got postcards, vintage mm-hmm. postcards or vintage mm-hmm. cards, which I think are so charming. You see sort of the, you know, the um, quill and ink writing and all of that. There's so much good mm-hmm. Valentine. Now, am I saying the word right? Ephemera? Is that how Ephemera. you say it? ephemera so that's that's, kind of, mm-hmm. that's kind of just like all that special little stuff right <laughs> that's what mm-hmm. that word means so you can look through i mean you could spend all day looking through uh you know if somebody's got a big stall of all this stuff but if you find really uh somebody has a good selection they're probably gonna have a lot of valentine because you know va- think about valentine's day people that's when they're sending cards and um, little love mm. notes and things like that i mm-hmm. have a little um a little pile myself that I've collected over the years, little cupids and, you know, darling little uh, sayings or little love poems, uh, you know, from the twenties, even before that, you know, in 1910. I just want to go through your stashes. <laughs> we'll have to have an open stash day. Yeah. <laughs> open kimono. <laughs> Okay. Well, on that note, I think we'll um, say goodbye for today. We want to remind you that we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey, everybody. We want to thank you so much for listening to Decorating Tips and Tricks. And we want to make it even easier for you to listen. And it's easier if you subscribe. You just click the subscribe button on our website, www.decoratingtipsandtricks.com. Or you can subscribe through Apple Podcasts or any of your favorite podcast listeners. When you subscribe, DTT comes free right to you three days a week. So until next time.